welcome to Sork Solo with Stacy. I look like I've been crying. I got an eyelash in my eye right before I was gonna hit start. Yeah, and um, so it looks like I've been crying, which is perfectly fitting because we're gonna talk about emotional health today. And if you heard, ever heard my son, he'll tell you, mom, you cry all the time. I'm like, I know. I know, I'm very emotional. What can I say? Um, but we are going to talk about emotional health today. For those of you that don't know, Soaring Solo is a community of single moms that want to rise above society's expectations. That we want to do more and be more for ourselves and our children. So if you are a single mom that wants to grow and learn and be more and set a better example for your kids, please feel free to join our Soaring Solo group. Um, we are kicking it off. We are helping each other, supporting each other, and just um, learning from each other as well and we would love to have you join us okay if you are not a single mom you're still welcome to uh, hang out with me during these and a lot of the stuff we talk about can apply to a lot of different people um, but I typically look at it from a single mama perspective because that's who I am okay so we've been talking about health and as a whole and uh, last week we talked about mental health the week before we talked about physical health and we talked about how they kind of all go together today we're gonna talk about emotional health emotional health um, so it's funny, it's ironic, I guess. I got a message from a friend of mine yesterday and she said, I'm all up in my feels today. I don't know what's going on. I'm just all up in my feels. And I was like, oh my gosh, me too. Like we were just kind of sharing a moment, like everything it feels like ugh, we thought maybe it was a, a full moon, but that was last week. Um, do you ever get all up in your feels? Like you just, I don't know what it is. I just feel really sad or I just feel really, um, depressed or I just feel really unsatisfied or sometimes I just feel like just so touched and like our emotions are whew, yeah hmm it's hard I am a roller coaster girl I say that all the time I am a roller coaster girl so I am one of these people who I have extremely high highs and I have extremely low lows emotions um, could run me ragged and have run me ragged in the past when I allow them to Okay, so are you like me? Are you like me? Because here's the thing, there's two different kinds of people. There are super emotional people like me. All right, there's the roller coaster people. And then there are the flatliners. Do you know who the flatliners are? The people that show no emotion whatsoever. Nothing faces them. Nothing makes them sad, nothing makes them depressed, but nothing makes them excited and nothing makes them happy either. Not that they don't feel these emotions, but they absolutely don't show them because they have such control that they refuse to show any emotion at all. And I think any extreme is not good. We've gotta find a middle ground between the whoo and the Okay, um, did you catch that? Like my signals? Okay, why do we have to control our emotions, particularly as single mamas? It's so important to control those emotions. Just because you're all up in your feels doesn't mean you can take that and run, okay? Especially as a single mom. Why do I say especially as a single mom? Because we do not have daddies in the house that can balance out our crazy, okay? So when I start feeling... um angry, bitter, sad, depressed, my kids not only are going to see that, but they don't have dad in the house to say, you know, we just need to give mama some time. Okay. She just needs a little time. We don't have anybody uh, to say to us, we don't have a significant other in our home to say, girl, I know you're feeling sad, but you can kick yourself in a butt. Come on, get it together. All right. Um, and men, you need to be careful how you do that. But we don't have that balance. We don't have that partner that can kind of help us keep those emotions, you know, recognize, oh, you see, you're getting crazy. You might not want to rein that in, right? We don't have it. So it's super important. So that falls onto our kids if we don't learn to control it ourselves. And that's not good, right? Um, we as single moms, we always have to be on. We don't get the luxury of taking a day to feel depressed and cry ourselves to sleep and sleep the whole day away. We don't. We have to take care of our children. We are the only ones there that can do that. Okay? Not that you can't get a babysitter. You can't send them to grandma's. If it's that bad, by all means, do what you got to do. But most of the time, especially when it comes to solely to emotions, we just need to learn how to keep them in check. There are some things that we can do to keep those emotions in check. Controlling emotions does not mean you don't feel anything. Like flatliner people, it's okay to show excitement. It's okay to show sadness. It's, sometimes it's good. We need to show emotion. We just need to learn how to control the emotion that we show 
at appropriate places at appropriate times and appropriate ways. Right? Um, here's the thing where emotions are great. They're wonderful things, wonderful things. But emotions should never sit in your driver's seat. Okay, you can write that down. Emotions should never sit in the driver's seat. All right, you cannot make decisions based on how you feel about something. Do you want to know why? Because feelings are liars. You know, I, there are many a day that I don't feel like getting up and going to work in the morning. But you know what? I got to pay the bills. So I got to stuff those feelings aside and get up and do it anyway. There's a time to stuff. There's a time to let it out, but there's a time to stuff. We have to see our opportunities through. We cannot let our emotions control and dictate how we do things, what we do. They cannot make decisions for us. And a lot of us really struggle with that. And when I say us, I mean, this is something I've battled my whole life because I am such a crazy emotional woman. All right. Um, so we have to, we cannot let our emotions get, take control because they will love they will lie. All right. Become aware of triggers. This is super important. So this is how, if you're like me and you're uber emotional, um, you need to start to learn your triggers. What is going to set you off? What is going to make you super depressed? What is going to make you super sad? What is going to make you super excited? What is going to make you, um, angry and bitter. When you start noticing those patterns, that's when you can start to do things about it. So this all comes back to self-awareness, which I was just talking about in another video, just like five minutes ago. It's crazy. Um, there are a lot of different triggers. You need to figure out what your triggers are because your triggers and my triggers might be different. Okay. But I'm going to give you a couple of examples of some potential triggers so that you can maybe start thinking, mm, is that me? Maybe I need to think about this. Uh, one of them, certain people can be a trigger. All right, take a close look at your inner circle. Do they pick you up? Are they encouraging? Are they helpful? Or are they complaining all the time? Are they angry and bitter? Because you are what you are around, right? So if you are around a group of people most of the time that are angry and bitter or depressed or a bunch of Eeyores, you're probably gonna fall into that whether you like it or not. So maybe you need to find a different circle. Sometimes you can't, sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's a family member that is a trigger. <laughs> what do you do then? Well, you don't have to spend every waking minute with them. You still have to, you know, they're family. You gotta love them, but you don't have to spend any more time that is absolutely necessary if they're bringing you down, right? So maybe it's people. Okay. Uh, maybe it's your ex, <laughs> right? There's going to be times that you're going to have to deal with that ex because you have, you know, that's the baby daddy, right? You don't have to deal with him any more than you allow yourself to. At, you know, you set those boundaries. We've talked about that before. If you're not calling me or texting me about our child, you should not be contacting me, period. Right? Right? Because people can be triggers. How about hormones? Hormones are a trigger. If it's that time of the month, my emotions are buck wild. Now, men, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Don't ever say, oh, do you have PMS? Yeah, because we will smack you first and think about it later. And you're probably right. It doesn't matter that you're right. Don't say it. That's the best advice I could give you. But hormones are a trigger. Know where you're at through the month because I guarantee that's going to affect your emotions and it's going to affect it wildly. So if you're going from crying to screaming to happy to um, melancholy all within an hour, that's probably the hormones talking. Maybe we should do something about that, right? We can't eliminate hormones from our body. Um, but there are things that we can do to control those hormones, right? How about habits? I really want to talk about habits because this is something that we don't talk about very much, but habits control your emotions if you allow them to, right? Um, I want you to stop and think when you start to get depressed a lot, when you start to get really sad, when you start to get angry and bitter, when those, especially those negative emotions really come up. But when the positive co emotions come too, maybe you're really happy. What are you doing then to make you really happy? right? Those are, you need to think about that as well. But I want you to really look, take a look at your habits. What are you doing? What have you been doing? Um, are you getting enough exercise? I know I don't like it either, but let's think about this. When you are exercising your body, you are going to feel better all, all, 
all the way around. Remember, we talked about how this is circular. It's a vicious cycle, right? Your physical, your mental, and your emotional health, they all come together. They play a part with each other. They can affect each other. So if you're, if you are not getting enough exercise, you're sitting on your bum all day long, it's real easy to get depressed. Get up and go for a walk, right? How about your diet? What are you eating? Walk into your kitchen and see what's in your refrigerator and your cupboards. Is it all boxed foods? Are you eating lab food or are you eating real food? Maybe you need to take a look at your diet. Maybe that could affect how you feel. Right down to, um, I'll, I think I've mentioned this before, but in case I haven't, one of the things, because I struggle, um, to, I fight depression like crazy because like I said, I'm a roller coaster person. So when I'm down, I'm down. Um, a friend of mine, Lori, um, told me last, I want to say it was last summer, told me about a handful of cashews a day helps keep depression away. Oh yeah. And I'm telling you, I've had a handful of cashews probably every day since then. And I've had less trouble with my depression than I ever had. So to start Googling. If you have a certain, you know, is, if, is there a food that you can eat, a natural food that you can eat that might help with that issue that you're having? They might make, you know, some happy cashews. Try them. They're good. Um, so maybe it's your diet that you need to look at. Um, maybe, what are you doing with your spare time? Are you watching too much TV? We talked about this with the mental health, what you put into your brain comes out. So if you're sitting plastered to the TV all the time, um, that's not healthy as a whole. But what you are watching will make a difference too. Is it something that you can learn and grow from or is it mindless dribble? And I'm not knocking mindless dribble completely because sometimes we just need, like I like a lot of mindless dribble. I have to limit it because I can, it's addictive. But there are times that it's like, I just wanna shut off my brain. It's been such a long, stressful day. I just wanna watch a whole lot of nothing. That's just fun. That doesn't make me think. And that's okay once in a while. But what are you putting into your brain? Is it overtly violent? Is it overtly sexual? Is it, um, how's the language? I'll tell you right now, I love Eddie Murphy. He's one of my favorite actors in the whole wide world. He's absolutely hilarious. He, I've loved him since the 80s, okay? But if I watch too much Raw, I start dropping more F-bombs. Why? Because that's what's going in my head, right? And that affects my emotions. So what are you putting in? Um, during COVID, I had to seriously limit my news intake. I love current events. I am a freak of nature who enjoys politics, who enjoys current events, who enjoys history. I like all this stuff. Like I'm a social studies freak. Okay, I, I'll just own it. I love that stuff. Um, however, I had to be very careful. I had to say, okay, I'm gonna get my news and the 15, top of the hour, the 15 minutes where they're actually giving you this is what's happening, and then I'm shutting it off because if I listen to this all day, it's making me depressed, it's making me angry, it's making me bitter, and I don't care if you watch CNN or you watch Fox, it doesn't matter, they all do it. Shut it off, shut it off. It's the best thing you can do. So what habits have you gotten into that you need to change? Um, stop that vicious, vicious cycle or change. I should say just change that vicious cycle. Put positive things in your head so positive things will come out in your emotions and your physical well-being as well. Your perceptions are your reality. So what you put in your mind is what you believe. You choose it. Okay, so what story are you telling yourself? We go back to what we were talking about last week again. Truth uh, versus opinion, okay? What is fact and what is not? It goes all right back to that. So take, here's the, and my last bit of advice, take the focus off yourself. So if you are if you really struggle with your emotions, stop thinking about you. Go do something for somebody else and it's amazing how quickly that will disappear, okay? Um, I'm gonna let you go. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you're interested in joining our solo, Soaring Solo with Stacy group, let me know and I will add you to the group. We'd love to have you. All single moms are welcome. Feel free to share videos if you think there's someone that might be helped by these. I would love it if you would share them. Um, and you guys have a great weekend. And remember, you may be soaring solo, but you are not tackling motherhood alone. We got this. All right, see you later.